ティータイムマイクバウンバックヒューゲン、AKA デスニーヒューロマイク、and welcome back to D time! We're here, it's always D time in more ways than one, and I want to give a big shout out to you guys, all you new subscribers.、Uh, if you're new watching this video, please go ahead and hit that subscription button because always got the D coming. And I want to give a big, big, big thank you to Tiger Her for donating to the Road to Chicago Nationals link in the description.、Uh, thank you so much for helping. I just went ahead and booked the airplane ticket. So, guys, I'm definitely going. I'm definitely going. I cannot wait. If you guys would like to continue helping me out, such as, you know, booking my room and whatnot, you know, food, travel, if you guys would like to help me with that, the link is still in the description as well, still will be pinned to the comments. So, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are just like the hero community, it's just the best. Well, anyways, guys, on to you guys have seen the thumbnail, my man Destiny Hero Dominance, on to the D series. Yes, we'll be discussing Destiny Hero Dominance.、Uh, he is an absolute beast. He came out in,、uh, I believe, 2016, and along with Fusion Destiny. And at that time, he wasn't really strong. He wasn't as strong as he is now, due to there was no such thing as a Destroy Phoenix Enforcer or a Destiny Hero Denier. They didn't exist, so Fusion Destiny itself wasn't even the strongest card. It was just as not, it, 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 it was just, on the, it, was on, it was on the same level as Neil's Fusion. It was just kind of like, hey, it's another hero card that fuses from the deck. Doesn't do a whole lot. So now he's a house. You know, now he's a big problem. And we're going to go ahead and get into the details of why that is. All right, on your boy Destiny Hero Dominance. Here it is. Now, here is what you guys see. What you guys see set up is I call the Dominance Web. And the synergies that he has that actually, he actually puts a lot of these cards online. And a lot of these cards also put him online. And、um, let's first go over his three effects. He has three effects. So, his first effect is that you can check the first five cards of either player's deck and Look at it and rearrange it in any order. The and there is, a, there is a combo that I used to, a nasty combo that I used to do with that, and I will tell you what that, has, what that is in just a moment. And his second effect is that if he destroys something in battle, draw a card. His third effect and most powerful effect is that if he's destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, unfortunately, it has to go to the graveyard. He targets three level nine or lower destiny hero, DP as well. And it, or, or it's level eight or lower fusion,、um, Destiny Hero Monster, and special summon them all. Now, he doesn't say up to three, it has to be exactly three. So, so yeah, so you have to have three other than himself, three Destiny Hero Monsters in your graveyard, other than himself, to、uh, activate and resolve his effect. And yes, so there is a combo just really short before I, I, I get into him. Uh, Dominus actually has a Droll Lock. Now,、uh, two, for, for, for two solid, two solid、um, formats, what I would do is I would use Destiny Hero Draw Guy, Destiny Hero Draw Hand a lot. And I would rearrange the order of my deck to see a Droll and Lockbird. And I would have a Destiny Hero Draw Hand in my graveyard. And during my standby phase, I would special summon him back. And then have the draw hand、uh, make the opponent me and the opponent draw one, and both、uh, we both draw one. And since the opponent drew one, droll. And so he played a big role in that. He would help cheat me a droll to the top of my deck that the draw hand draws, or mess up what they're gonna draw if I already have the droll. So that was one thing I did. That's another combo I can go into,、um, probably even in this video. But since I'm not playing draw hand at the moment, That's not my exact priority. So, yes, here's a web of things that he puts online and things that put him online. So, obviously, again, Fusion Destiny, you know, it's semi limited. We're lucky that it's, it's that is only semi limited. Very powerful card. Fusion Destiny with Dominance, now thanks to the Denier and DPE, it autom if you make a Dominance. You also, get a, you, in, you also are able to get a Fusion Destiny thanks to the Nyer's Graveyard effect 
with Malicious and being able to get Cross Crusader, normal summon your Vion and Vion pitch, get all your get your polymerization in and everything, and then boom, you end up with both of them on the field with just one card. So the point of dominance is that it's more lines, more extensions, more body. And now Dominance now teams up with Phoenix and Forcer very well because you can pop a Phoenix, you, 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 Phoenix and Forcer, Forcer can pop a Dominance and a card, and Dominance will resolve in the graveyard. And there are other Destiny Heroes that are not in the web currently. There's Destiny Hero Dreadmaster, and there's also Destiny Hero Disc Commander where you can draw two. So that's one thing, but I want to, the, the thing, the reason why I'm not showing them at the moment, I want to keep this as competitive as possible. So. I want automatically three great three Destiny Hero monsters in my graveyard. Boom, Dark Angel. So I can Dark Angel from hand. Um, he also synergizes with Diamond Dude because he arranges the top five cards of my five cards, five cards of, off the top of my deck. I can see myself a Destiny draw and bring him back, bring back my Diamond Dude with Cross Crusader. This is all of one card, like off Fusion Destiny with Cross Crusader and Cross Crusader bring, and and Diamond Dude go ahead and mill. Destiny draw for follow-up. So really, the point and objective of dominance is follow-up. Uh, especially, it's just it's just disgusting follow-up. He opens the gateways for plasma, the, bringing out plasma the following turn, and it's just a ton of recovery. Especially teamed up with DPE. So that's the point of him. And he also has different he has different more advanced plays where he can mess up the opponent's draw. Like seriously mess up the opponent's draw, or you need to see yourself a mass change to go for a game. You check the five card, top five cards of your deck. Swing at something, kill it in battle, draw it, mass change. Continue swinging with the rest of your guys. Boom, mass change. Um, and again, he's just to ensure your follow up for the next turn. And it's disgusting because you're going to get your pluses. You're going to special summon Destiny Hero Decider if you haven't already used him in the previous turn. Uh, again. Now let's go ahead and get right into a one card combo with Dominance. All right, so literally a one card combo with Destiny Hero Dominance. You're gonna end, I guarantee you're, guarantee you're gonna end with a Destiny Hero Dominance and a Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, okay? By the end of this combo. So, we start with Fusion Destiny. Go ahead and activate it. We go right on ahead and send our Denier and our Malicious to the graveyard, okay? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Denier, Malicious to the Graveyard, as well as, since this is a line that we're playing, the Dominance line, we're going to send uh, Diamond Dude, Destiny Hero Diamond Dude, and we'll see why here in just a moment. Boom, bring our Denier, ah, boom, bring out our Dominance here in Defense Mode. I got no cards in hand, as you guys can see. Literally, this is just one card. We'll f now we go ahead and use Destiny Hero Malicious. Go ahead and summon our malicious from the deck. I wish I kind of prepared this better, but that's okay. Go ahead and bring our malicious. We haven't even used our normal summon yet either. So go ahead and use our once per turn, of, once per dual effect denier in graveyard. Denier effect. Go ahead and place our malicious to the top of the deck. We're going to be needing that. And then we go ahead and link off those two denier and malicious for the wonder driver. Now, see what I was saying about denier? Denier turns Dominance on and Dominance turns on Denier. It's insane. They really rub off each other insanely. It's pretty scary. So we're gonna go Destiny Hero. We're gonna go ahead and use uh, Cross Crusader's effect to target our Diamond Dude in the graveyard. Special Summon Diamond Dude. And you see the Malicious on, is currently on top of our deck, as you can see. And but we're gonna what we're gonna do is have Destiny Hero Dominance check the top five cards of our deck and we're gonna go ahead and randomly see what we get five cards we need to get at least at least see one normal spell card right because after all we only start with one card in hand so it's a pretty high odd so our default malicious and there's an ash blossom there's a stratos ah there's a destiny draw and a rota so we're gonna go ahead and place the destiny draw to the top of the deck sweet and put malicious to the bottom just for good measure but we're gonna shuffle anyway now we're gonna go ahead and use the Dom Diamond Dude's effect. Mill our Destiny Draw. We got we got our Draw 2 follow up, baby. This is just crazy. And then we're gonna go ahead and use Cross Crusader's effect. Tribute for Diamond Dude. And add a Vion from deck to hand. We haven't normal summon yet, which is awesome. 
So now, but however, we are still locked into Fusion Destiny, so no Sunrise, no Sunrise plays, no Wonder Driver. Go to Normal Summon Vion, Vion's Normal Summon Effect, go ahead and dump our, see now the deck is shuffled, we dump our Shadow Mist, and so now the deck is shuffled, so now you see the, mo oh, wait, yeah, the deck is shuffled, so any kind of worry about Malicious, worry not, it's all shuffled up. So now we use our Vion, oh, well we have to use our uh, Shadow Mist Effect, uh, apologies, at the decider in the hand, and then we go ahead and use Vion's effect, banish the Shadow Mist, and add the Polymerization from deck to hand, boom, and now we still have a Malicious in the graveyard, so we go ahead and banish our Malicious, and go ahead and special summon the other Malicious, boom, the second Malicious. And yeah, this is what we're working with here, you see what I'm saying? Alright, so we go ahead and Polymerization. Wow. We go ahead and send our decider and our malicious to from hand to graveyard to special summon our beloved D is me is me. Boom. DP. So and if you want to take extra measures, that was just a one card. I, that that was even, you know, if you want to go ahead and link these two off together and bring out your Decimator for just another beat stick is that that's that's to get over or whatever if you want But that's only one card in hand and that's a line of play that could be taken if your hand is just all bricked out uh, You can guarantee to yourself both follow-up a draw two. This is what this ends on You get yourself a pop Follow-up, special summon three Destiny Hero Monsters from the graveyard. Your Decider as well is going to get you something from your graveyard to your hand. Maybe something like a Vion. And a and you're, you're going to get your draw to the following turn. So that's your follow-up for next turn if your hand wasn't so great. Um, and let's just say, let's say we only had uh, one card, right? So if we have a mass change or something like that, you know, we can mass change away our... We can go ahead and mass change away our Vion or our Cross Crusader, or if we want, we can just keep Decimator on the field. And yeah, so yeah, uh, it's not half bad if you ask me, and that is why that's one of the reasons why I play Destiny Hero Dominance. There are deeper plays with him, but that is the basics with Destiny Hero Dominance. And that's gonna do it for today, guys. Again, please hit that subscription button. I always more to come. Really appreciate you guys. Again, if you guys would like to help me out with Chicago, the details are in the description and it is pinned in the comments. So again, I really appreciate you guys. And remember, it's always D time, baby. More ways than one.